Hey everyone, how are you? In this video, we are going to solve the lead code problem of the day and the problem is distribute candies among children part 2. In this problem, the given input is an integer n which is the number of candies we have and there is a limit variable which is also given which is maximum number of candies you can give to a particular child. The output we need to give is the total number of ways we can distribute the n candies we have which is in the input among 3 children. So there are 3 children, this 3 is fixed so there will be 3 children and you have to distribute n candies among 3 children such that no children get number of candies more than limit. This limit variable is the maximum number of candies we can give to one child. So we have 3 children right. So we need to distribute n candies among 3 children and we need to find out how many number of ways we can do this distribution such that no candidate or no children get more than limit number of candies. For example. If n is 5 and limit is 2, it means we have 5 candies. Let's say C, 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 C. These are the 5 candies we have. What we need to do is we need to distribute these 5 candies into 3 children such that no children get more than 2 candies. The output in this case is going to be 3. The output we need to find out is the total number of ways to distribute the given n candies, for example, 5 candies among the 3 children. So this 3 means that we have 3 number of ways we can distribute this 5 candies among these 3 children such that no children gets more than limit number of candies. These three ways are you can give the first child one candy, the second child two candy and the third child two candy. So this is total number of five candies, right? We distributed it like first child get one candy, second get two and the third get two. Another way is you give the first child two candies, second child one candy and the third child two candies. And the third way is you give the first child two candies, the second child two candies and the third child one candy. So these are the three number of ways we can do the distribution so that no children get more than limit number of candies and every time total number of candies distributed will be equal to n which is the total number of candies we have. Let us see another example. In this example the given value of n is 3 that is we have 3 candies and the limit is 3. So we can give a maximum of 3 candy to one particular children. The output in this case is going to be 10. What we can do is we can say first child gets 0, second child gets 0 and the third child gets 3 candies. So this is the first way. The second way is 0, 1, 2, the first child gets 0, second child gets 1 and the third child gets 2 candies. The third way is 0, 2, 1, then we have 0, 3, 0, then we have give the first children 1 candy, then the second 0 and the third 2, then you have 1, 1, 1, give all the children 1 candy, then you have 1, 2, 0, give the first one 1 candy, second one 2 candy and third children as 0 candy. You have another ways like 2, 0, 1, 2, 1, 0 and 3, 0, 0. So this is total number of 10 ways we can distribute 3 candies among 3 children with the limit as 3. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now you need to find out this value, how many ways you can distribute these candies and the solution approach for this is going to be of O of 1. That is we are not going to run a lot of loops. We are just going to solve it using mathematics. So this formula to solve this particular problem in O of 1 time complexity is completely based on mathematics. Now first of all we need to understand the intuition. How can we solve it right? So I will not directly show you the formula. We will first understand what we already know. We know that we have n candies right? And we have three children and let's call them as A, B, C. Or we can say let's distribute the first children A candy, second child B candy and the third child C candy. So we distribute these N candies into A, B and C. So basically the goal is A plus B plus C is going to be equal to N. That is the first children who is getting A number of candies, the second children who is getting the B number of candies and the third child is getting C number of candies. So A plus B plus C is going to be equal to N because N is the number of candies we have and we have to distribute all the candies right. There is also this limit part and we need to be sure that a, b and c all the values are going to be within this limit. a, b and c will be more than equal to 0 and less than equal to limit because we need to make sure that none of the child get more than limit number of candies right. So either they can get 0 number of candies or limit number of candies or between that value. So this is the formula we need to align with. a and b and c will be within 0 to limit. 0 and limit are included. Now I have a formula right now which is n plus 1 multiplied by n plus 2 divided by 2. Now I will come to this formula. First of all, let us try to understand this. What is this formula and how can we come to this formula? Now, what if there are no limit? If we have no limit, that is we do not have any limit of how many candies we can distribute to one child. In that case, how can you distribute the number of candies? So let us say the number of candies we have is 5 and we do not have any limit, right? So this particular formula will be reduced to this. That is the value of a, b and c should be more than equal to 0 and it doesn't have any upper limit. If this is your formula and you have 5 candies, can you think of how can you distribute the number of candies to three children? Now what if there is just one child? So what you will do, you will just say give all the five candies to the first child, right? Now if there are two children, you can say, okay, give the first children zero, 
and the second child five or give the first one as one give the second one as four or you can say two comma three or you can say three comma two four comma one and five comma zero these are the six ways one two three four five six six ways you can distribute five candies among two children right now how can we find this value six is what i will do is i will divide this five candies among two children right so i will say let's put a line here if i am putting a line here then what i am saying is all the left candies will go to the first child all the right candies will go to the second child it means first children is getting one and the second child is getting four candies or what i can say is i can put a line here and this combination will say that the first child is getting two candies the second child is getting three candies so basically i am dividing this five candies into two parts just by putting one line now i need to divide it into three parts so i need to put two lines i would say let's put a line here and let's put a line here this is one of the way if you want to distribute the five candies in this particular way what you will find is the first child is getting one number of candies that is all the candies which are left to the first line the second child is getting three number of candies that is all the candies which is between the two lines and the third child is getting all the candies which is right to the second line so one candy so basically if you put a line here and here you are distributing your candies into three parts the first part is one second part is three and the third part is one the first child is getting one candy second one is getting three candy and the third one is getting one candy so what i need to do is i need to choose two lines to divide the n candies into three parts so if i am able to find out the number of ways i can choose these two lines that is these two dividing lines then i will be able to find out how many ways i can distribute these five candies among three children if i do not have any limit so what i can say is i can just put one line here second line also here then what did you find you can say that the first child is getting zero candies that is all the candies left to the first line the second child is getting zero candies that is all the candies between the first and second line and the third child is getting five number of candies that is all the candies which is right to the second line so what i can do is i can say let's put the first line here and now try to find out how many ways you can put the second line i can say i can put the second line here then i can put it here as, as well i can put it here as well i can put it here as well and here and here so if i am putting the first line here then i can put the second line in 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 ways what if i put the first line here then what i can say is i can put the second line here then here then here then here and then here so it's basically saying that if if i put the first line here i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 ways if i put the first line here then i can put the second line in 1 2 3 4 5 ways if i put the first line here then i can basically put the second line in 1 2 3 4 ways so you see how the number is reducing as you are moving the first line so you can move the first line at 1 2 3 4 5 6 ways right and then the number of ways you can put the second line is 6 then 5 then 4 then 3 then 2 then 1 and you can just add this up and this is going to be the number of ways you can distribute all these five candies among three children now do you see any formula here i see a formula which is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 right so this is just a basic formula of counting and how can you count this value 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 this is going to be equal to 6 multiplied by 7 by 2 that's basically a formula whatever is the last value multiplied by the last value plus 1 divided by 2 so this is actually representing a formula 1 plus 2 plus 3 dot 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 n so if you want to find out the value this is going to be n multiplied by n plus 1 divided by 2 now i have written this formula n plus 1 multiplied by n plus 2 divided by 2 and that's because if i have five number of candies then i have to say 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 dot 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 up to 6 so if i have five candies i am going till 6 if i will have six candies i will go till 7 so in this formula this n will be replaced with n plus 1 and this n will be replaced with n plus 1 so the formula is going to be n plus 1 multiplied by n plus 2 divided by 2 and now you need to remember you need to know this formula the simple formula of counting now the thing is guys if you have five candies and you want to distribute it among three children without any limit then this is going to be the formula so right now the value of n is equal to 5 right so i can say the total number of ways i can distribute n candies among three children is n plus 1 multiplied by n plus 2 divided by 2 and remember that we are saying that what if there are no limit we are not considering the limit as of now so we can say n plus 1 multiplied by n plus 2 divided by 2 this is going to be 6 multiplied by 7 by 2 so this will cut it and it will be 3 into 7 which is 21 now we have 21 ways to distribute five candies among three children without any limit but now we need to deal with the limit as well right okay so for that what we are going to say is we are going to say from the total number of ways which we just find out we found out the total number of ways right so from the total number of ways remove all the invalid ways that is all those ways in which any children or any child gets more than limit number of candies 
because right now we have distributed it without any limit so there can be a condition that maybe one maybe two or maybe all the children are getting more than limit number of candies and we want to avoid that case right we want to say from the total number of ways remove all the invalid ways so let's do one thing let us say that the children a the first child is getting more than the limit and we know that the formula is a plus b plus c is n and if we are saying that a is more than limit then the first child is getting more than the limit number of candies now what we will do is we are just going to play with the formula let us say the value of a is a dash plus limit plus one now this value is always going to be more than limit because we are saying that this a dash will be more than equal to zero and this value will be more than limit right because this is limit plus one so this complete value will be more than limit and that's what we are saying right now we are saying let us say the first child is getting more than limit so the value of a is more than limit and let us say a is equal to a dash plus limit plus one if we put this value into this particular formula this will look like a dash plus limit plus one this is the complete a we have plus b plus c and this will be equal to n now what we can do is we can say take this value in the right hand side so this will look like a dash plus b plus c is equal to n minus limit minus one now let us call this value as x now you need to notice something when we were having this a plus b plus c is equal to n then the formula of finding how many ways you can distribute the given n number of candies among three children was n plus one multiplied by n plus two divided by two right now this formula and this formula is very much similar we have a dash here we have b here and we have c here this is the number of ways we can distribute the n candies among three children such that the first child is getting more than the limit so a dash plus b plus c is going to be equal to n minus one minus limit and let's call this value as x so right now the formula is going to be x plus one multiplied by x plus two divided by two this value is the number of ways when a is more than limit that is we are distributing the n candies among three children such that the value of a is more than limit so this is the formula for a and this is going to be same for b and c as well and that is why we are multiplying it by three because this is the value we need to reduce from our total right now if we reduce this value from our total we are just reducing it for a more than limit but we need to reduce it for b more than limit and c more than limit as well right so we are going to say x plus one multiplied by x plus two divided by two multiply this particular value by three and let's call it as extra this extra value has to be reduced from the total this is the total we just found right this was the total so total was 21 we need to reduce this value multiplied by three let's call it as extra so right now what we have is we have total and we have this value extra right we are going to say remove this extra from the total but this is not the answer because this particular circle is representing the total number of ways we can distribute n candies among three children such that a is more than limit this circle is for b is more than limit and this circle is for c is more than limit what we are doing right now is we are removing these circles whatever is the count of these circles basically these circles are the number of ways so we are removing this value using extra but what we are also doing is we are actually removing some common values multiple times so there can be a condition that when a is more than limit at the same time c is also more than limit right this particular area is representing invalid ways of a and c so what we are doing is if we are removing this value and if we are removing this value from our total then we are removing this particular value two times similarly there can be a condition that a and b both are more than limit so we are removing this particular area two times and we are removing this particular area two times because there can be a condition that b and c both are more than limit so we need to be sure that if we are removing this extra we need to add this value back why so because we are removing this value multiple times so basically we are removing some common invalid values or the number of ways which will look something like this so for this condition when a and b both are more than limit it will look something like this a dash plus b dash plus c is going to be equal to n minus limit plus one minus limit plus one why so because when we were having this a more than limit we replaced it with a dash then we had this limit plus one here right n minus limit plus one but when we have a and b both more than the number of limits then what we can say is we can say for a dash for b dash we will remove limit plus one we will remove limit plus one because a will be equal to a dash plus limit plus one and b will be equal to b dash plus limit plus one so this is the formula when a and b both are more than limit so in this case we need to find out how many ways we can distribute this value among three children so we will put this value into our formula and we are again going to multiply it by three because this is a dash b dash this can be a dash c dash and this can be b dash c dash so we have three different ways basically these are the three ways one then two then three so what we will do is we are going to say this as double extra we are removing this value double times two times so let's call it as double extra and let's add it back so we had this total we removed the extra and we added back the double extra values and to find out the value what you can do is you can find out the number of ways you can distribute this value among three children multiply it by three 
so now we have this total we have the extra which will be removed and then we have the double extra which will be added now the thing is there is one more thing which we need to take care of and that is visible from this graph see what we are doing is when we are saying we will add this value back this particular value back and this particular value back to our answer which will be total minus extra then plus the double extra what we are actually doing is we are adding this particular value more than the number of times we need to add this particular value or this particular area is actually representing when a b and c all are more than limit so what we need to do is we need to remove this from this double extra which we just added we need to remove this value so what we can do is we can say to find out the value we can say a dash plus b dash plus c dash when all the three are more than limit then this will be equal to n minus 3 multiplied by limit plus 1 why 3 multiplied by limit plus 1 because this one limit plus 1 is for a second is for b and the third is for c so 3 multiplied by limit plus 1 and you just need to find out how many ways you can distribute these number of candies among three children and let's call it as common so this is going to be the final output or the final answer if this is common then what we need to do is we need to find out the total number of ways we can distribute n candies among three children then remove all those ways in which any of the children is getting more than the limit and then add back that value the double extra value which we have removed multiple times when we were subtracting this extra and then while adding back we are actually having this common value which, which is getting added multiple times so remove this common value and this is going to be the final output total minus extra plus double extra minus common and the formula to find out the value is same it will be n plus 1 multiplied by n plus 2 divided by 2 let me show you the solution let me explain you the solution of this particular problem and things will be completely clear so this is the complete solution using python what we are doing is we are having a function which is def calculate or kels we are just passing a value into this and we are saying return value plus 1 multiplied by value plus 2 divided by 2. We are doing it only if the value is more than equal to 0. If it is less than 0, you can return 0. If it is more than equal to 0, you can say this is the output we need for any given value. So basically this is representing the number of ways we can distribute the given value number of candies among three children. And now let's focus on this total extra, double extra and common. For total, we are just going to pass the value of n in the function calculate or kels. Then find out the extra which will be calculate for n minus limit plus 1 then multiply this value by 3 because we need to do it for a b and c all of it then double extra which is calculate the value for n minus 2 multiplied by limit plus 1 and then multiply this by 3 and then to find out the common you can say calculate for n minus 3 multiplied by limit plus 1 and then you can finally return total minus extra plus double extra minus common this is the complete solution you can just submit this code and this code is going to pass all the test cases and this is a very optimized solution for this particular problem because we are just doing some calculation so the complexity is o of 1 so you can see the runtime is good the memory used is good so we have solved this particular problem and i think that's it for this video guys if this video helps you to understand the problem and the solution approach as well then make sure that you hit that like button and if you have not subscribed to the channel as of now then make sure that you subscribe to the channel as well and i will see you guys in the next video thank you for watching this video guys